Certified Associate in Python Programming Exam PCAP 3103 Updated questions are the best material for you to study. 1. How many elements will the list one list contain after execution of the following snippet? A. 2. B. 0. C. 1. D. 3. 2. Which of the following sentences are true? Select two answers. A. Lists may not be stored inside tuples. B. Tuples may be stored inside lists. C. Tuples may not be stored inside tuples. D. Lists may be stored inside lists. 3. Files with the suffix .pyke contain A. Python 4 source code B. Backups C. Temporary data D. Semi-compiled Python code 4. Which of the following statements are true? Select two answers. A. A code point is a point inside the code when execution stops immediately. B. An escape sequence can be recognized by the hash sign put in front of it. C. UTF-8 is one of the ways of representing Unicode code points. D. ASCII is the name of a character coding standard. 5. A class constructor. Select two answers. A. Can return a value. B. Cannot be invoked directly from inside the class. C. Can be invoked directly from any of the subclasses. D. Can be invoked directly from any of the superclasses. 6. Is it possible to safely check if a class object has a certain attribute 0? A. Yes, by using the Hasadr attribute. B. Yes. By using the Hasadr method. C. Yes, by using the Hasadr function. D. No, it is not possible. 7. A compiler is a program designed to select two answers. A. Rearrange the source code to make it clearer. B. Check the source code in order to see if it's correct. C. Execute the source code. D. Translate the source code into machine code. 8. Python's built-in function named open. Tries to open a file and returns. A. An integer value identifying an opened file. B. An error code. 0 means success. C. A stream object. D. Always none. 9. The first parameter of each method. A. Holds a reference to the currently processed object. B. Is always set to none. C. Is set to a unique random value. D is set by the first argument's value. 10. Which of the following statements are true? Select two answers. A. Python strings are actually lists. B. Python strings can be concatenated. C. Python strings can be sliced like lists. D. Python strings are mutable.